thing that you see down there below you? What's the very first impression that you get? Vibrancy. Every everything is vibrant, and you know the landscape, the meadow, the the lake, the tree, the forest, the animals. There is a unison, and it's more pronounced than normal. Than what would normally be expected. And what do you mean by vibrancy? Mm. Each, each, the flowers, the grasses, each in themselves are giving off an energy, a frequency. And that's con contributing to the ether mm -hmm. or the air, the ether. And they are creating columns of frequency that is going upwards towards the, the sky. And as they go up, then they go up to a certain height and they start to create a spiral. Mm. And it's spiraling, and this, you know, as if you're like. Um, if you have a cloth that's dry and then the other part of it is is uh, damp and you're wringing it but this is actually the weaving of the energy mm. and it's coming together and it's going up as a as a as a in a, in a spiral up into the atmosphere yeah. and they and, and it's from different you know, just each area has so many going up together mm. and then coming and creating the the spiral and they themselves join and weave together mm. and creating a bigger uh, column of frequency. And they're coloured, it's coloured as well. The energy is coloured by the colour of the, 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 the weeds or the flowers, or the, you know, the meadow species yes and then there's another aspect is song the bird song mm. when it resonates it it changes that spiral and it in a way it puts when it's up at a certain level it creates a plateau there's a song bird song creates a plateau where it actually fans out. Yes, spreads out. It fans out and it, it, it acts as a kind of a, a surface of vibration or frequency. And that is, as to what level that is at, is influenced by a, the positioning within the calendar year, oh. time of day. Yes. And sometimes that's that's a, a plateau, if I like to call it that, is like a surface in a way. And at different times of the year, it actually tilts. Mm. It's, uh, at the time that I see it was flat, but at certain times it will tilt. And then the, um, both the moonlight and the sunlight pierces through that. Mm. And it uh, returns a certain frequency and energy to the earth itself and it bounces back. And it's a little bit like a satellite dish. Oh, nice. In, in both directions. Yeah. Uh, there's a name for some of that. Um, I can't think of the name, but where it, it it that level or that plateau has created a kind of a, a film or a basis or a barrier, if you like, mm. and it acts as a two way flow. Yeah. 
sounds beautiful. Um, and it, is this is this a, a, some special place? Where where is this place? Do you know on the on the earth? It's it's just it um just so happens to be. Oh, where exactly? I can't pinpoint exactly, but where it's just it seems. It's how it should be. Yes. It's nature mm. working as it naturally does. You have the regular common natural wild species of flowers and meadow. Yeah. And then you have that aspect. Then you have the water. And then you have the, the wood itself. Yes. And each in their own right have a different impact the water reflects it acts as the reflector mm. and provides a certain amount of um, vapor in the sunlight mm. which in itself creates electromagnetic particles and that imbues the already created frequencies from the flowers and from what's happening within the ether or the atmosphere. Uh, and then all of this together at given certain times of the year are <sighs> happenings creates can create another dimension, but it, it's thin, it's, it's not very prominent. It's just, it's within the ether itself and it goes unnoticed. Mm. But with, with how modern day, this is like what I'm looking at is sometime in the past when yes. everything was natural. Yes. But with present day life, all of that has been interfered with. Um, and is it to do with technologies currently and chemicals and things like that, pollution? Is it to do with all of that that it's been interfered with? Anything that is not natural. Uh, anything that is not natural or no. has a, a sequence within nature. Yes. Uh, and therefore, because it's been interfered with, what impact has that on the earth and on the, the, the creatures, including the humans living on the earth? What, what's the result, the negative impact of that? And the resonance has become fractured. Yes. Uh, and when resonance becomes fractured, the, sig the signaling is interfered with, just like your radio yes. signal, you don't quite get the message or yes. what's exactly being said. Yeah. And it's the same with nature itself. And it's been interfered with. It's trying to correct it. Mm. It's doing its, its what it can to correct it. Mm. Uh, but it's a challenge. Mm. Yes. And in correcting it, the overall, uh, shall we say, evolution is taking a slightly different direction than what was, what's considered natural. Um, yes. And how is... How do you see it evolving? In what way? What is nature going? How is nature going to adapt then? Um, it will adapt. It will. Our. It will adapt. Mm. That's number one. But mm. in adapting. it will have lost some of 
the origins of its true self. Yeah. And that's obviously part of the evolution as well. So in doing that, it creates a new dynamic. And that dynamic is better able to cater or cope with what it's been challenged with in terms of present day uh, um, dysfunctional frequencies. Mm -hmm. Dysfunctional frequencies are party or those that are man-made. Mm -hmm. So um it will it will prevail nature prevails mm. the natural world will prevail good it just takes time to adjust and, and rebalance the frequencies i see but it'll be at a different level it'll be, it, it, it will be um it'll be uh, more there'll be a slightly stronger density and it will be ro more robust yeah whereas before without these challenges it was at a much um the frequency would have been less dense and um life would have been um, in all aspects of nature a lot more connected and together mm -hmm. and the connectedness was also with the cosmos itself and that there was inter a lot more interaction than there is now uh and that was the purpose of some of some ceremonial sites, places of habitation, that the, the people understood at a cellular level rather than necessarily at an intellectual level. I know. Uh, but I thought that the earth, because of where we're at with the procession of the equinoxes and everything, I thought that the earth is, is ascending to a higher dimension mentioned to a higher level of consciousness currently. But the fact that it's challenged is mm. is is creating that. It it has to it has to uh, overcome the challenges that are there. Mm -hmm. Otherwise if it was just um, floating or uh, mm. progressing or travelling through as it was it wouldn't have met, um, been met with any challenges. And it's the challenge and the understanding of the challenge, of the change that's needed. It's, it, it has uh, um, kind of heightened its sentient knowledge and reality to up the game a bit in order to overcome the destructiveness. Mm. It's, a, it's 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 the it's it's evolving and mm, with that as as frequencies and the interactive frequencies mm. uh, of nature of the cosmos of the the actual earth itself and the pre -programming, programming that was there prior to our own knowledge or existence mm. that in itself has is providing the the essence of what needs to happen the template has been set and when certain things happen as has happened with how man has managed the earth or 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 tried to manage the earth in his own way they in themselves trigger certain they act at certain trigger points mm -hmm. and the, the, the various essences start to 
function mm. so and the, kick in. Yeah. The earth is very adaptable then. Totally. That's good to hear because there's a lot of concern that, oh, you know, the planet is being destroyed, you know, climate change and all of that. Though it's being challenged. Mm. And that challenge sets off frequency triggers. Um, yes, and we're being told that climate change is being caused, is man-made. Is it purely man-made or are there other things contributing to it, like um, changes in, in, in the um, planet, planets and that type of thing? The Earth itself is, trans, is, is, is traveling by virtue of its presence or existence within the universe. So the universe and the galaxy. So the, the, there is a cycle yes. in terms of the galaxy itself. Mm. Our, our our old galaxy and the universe and it's going through a, a path yeah. and within that path there will be outer influences on the earth itself Yes. and that has an, a major influence as to what has has happened in the past mm. and what continues to evolve in present day as regards our own influence, mm. the influence we have had is that is in a certain level of pollution, a certain level of disrespect for our landscape in terms of how we use it. It has been uh, because of our ego, yeah. and it is the change has hasn't majorly influenced it has had an impact mm. but by nature of the essence and the pre-programming of the earth itself nature and all that exists in terms of the natural world it all creates a certain essence or vibration or frequency which triggers which triggers certain aspects of the predetermined template with the origins of the and the development of the origins of our existence as a planet and within our universal journey mm. so would you say that the impact that man is making on the earth and the climate has been over exaggerated um, because ignorance creates negativity. Yes. And negativity is being promoted in terms of what is supposedly happening. Mm. Like there isn't much talk about the fact that the earth is in a certain stage in this cycle, uh, in the processional cycle, I presume in where it's at in the galaxy at the moment, that that maybe is having a larger impact. Would that be correct? That would be the, the bigger picture. Yes. Um, and by virtue of where it's at in that cycle, that in itself... To explain in terms of what man is doing. Yes. Let's say uh, you have just a little simple analogy. Yeah. You, you are walking along the street on a rainy day mm. and you have a puddle. Yeah. And you step into that puddle and you create a ripple. Yeah. And a frequency. Mm. But it returns to its natural state. I see. Yeah. And it's the same with man. Yeah. But we create, a, do create a ripple. Yeah. But in essence, or in, 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 in the mm. bigger f picture of things, uh, there is a self-correction. Oh, well, that's good to know. Yes. Because um. the planet has evolved. It has gone through different ages. Yeah. In its present existence. And there have been uh, what in present day human mind would have been considered as disasters in the past. 
Oh, really? You know, you would have had the ice age. You would have had mm. volcanic oh, eruptions. Yes. You would have. Yes. There was mm, uh, a clash with the earth itself uh, on aspects from the the. Uh, we would have gone. The planet would have travelled through belts of meteorites, etc., yes. and it was faced with those challenges. Yeah. So it's part of our. It's part of the journey. I it's see. the journey. Yes. Um, and I just wonder why you chose to show Kevin this particular um, aspect of, of the earth today. What do you want him to know about this? But seeing, you know, the um, energies that are emanating from the waters and the flowers and the grasses and um they're going up into the uh, up into the atmosphere and creating spirals of energy and um the birds then creating this plateau of energy what why are you showing kevin that today it's that which is not seen yes. by most Yes. It, and it's cre to create an awareness and to inform. Yes. How par aspects of how nature is and, and behaves. Um. There, there, there is uh, the human condition is such that it operates at a particular frequency. Yes. And. It does connect with the earth itself because we resonate with the same at a similar frequency, but because of um, all because of the cultures that we are the, uh, the, the population culture that we live in, we are there is a template set mm. and that has conditioned what we see and what we don't see. And it creates a certain frequency in terms of mind and thought. Yeah. And that clouds out with that which is all around us yeah. and within. Yeah. And it's not experienced. Yes. So the, the experience is being, is being shown to, to as a form of information. Yes. So that there is a greater understanding. Yes, I've heard it. That... that uh, while at the moment, there, as you asked the question, based on climate change, mm. and that's an ongoing thing. Yeah. But because of the conditioning and the ego of certain aspects of human culture, it has created fear. Yes. And it has created lack of understanding. Mm -hmm. So this is an it. This is an aspect that does exist. In the natural world, but at a somewhat different frequency. Yes. So it has to be shown mm. to be understood. Yes. That it's that um, there's no need to fear. Oh, that's very good to know. Yes. Um, you you mentioned about the original role of the ceremonial sites, the sacred sites. Could you say something about that? Um, what their role was? It's multifunctional. Okay, could you elaborate a little about that? Um... Well, when sites are talked about, um, and they're, they're obvious, they are there, there are physical constructions. Yes. Um, there are centred around those uh, within the culture at any given time or any era. Uh, there are there is a certain awareness or understanding of the world around the people concerned. Mm. But 
uh, in the earlier stages of the deve development of the client of the, the planet the planet has been um, configured in a manner that is one of infinity or, or, or it's not set in any designated time zone or era. There is um, within the earth itself there, there, there is encoding. Oh yes. So with the with that encoding, there are frequencies. There is, uh, and they themselves can be of a, a creational capacity. Mm -hmm. And over a period of time, there, with the various knowledge or essence within the cultures that exist draws them to certain places through their then understanding or awareness um, and then uh, there are cultures develop and surround this essence yes while it may not be fully understood by the, the majority there are those that have an awareness and they use that for their own purpose. They use that so as that they can motivate others. And it's, a, it's also being human creates a certain level of egoic power. Mm -hmm. But with the essence of, the, of working with natural law. Um, are there still some frequencies encoded maybe in those particular sites that have not yet been revealed or activated? And the different, at, at the present time, in this time we exist in, uh, they they have some have been um, deactivated mm -hmm. and some are waiting to be activated because the, 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 this whole thing works at so many different levels mm -hmm. and there are certain frequencies that will release certain aspects so it it, it has been pre-programmed mm. at their first Right. Um, initiation or existence when they came these areas or this frequency or encoding came into existence mm. it well, is such that it will develop and respond according to the time and era and what is happening in terms of the earth itself and their interaction with natural life and human life on the planet and or within that particular area. Yeah. Will it be required that um will it be required that we say or some people uh will need to develop an understanding to help to activate it or will it just happen itself without any man made intervention? Will the encoding activate without human intervention when the time is right? Or um, in term uh, as regards uh, the word intervention, you would not use that word. Okay. Intervening, you do not intervene. Intervene with nature. Mm -hmm. Nature evolves and transmutes mm -hmm. to. Uh, the frequency that's required at any given time mm. due to its place within the universal. I just wonder if, if humans have a role in its activation though. The, 
there are th- th- there are those who believe they have a role to play to activate different mm-hmm. places of what's considered places of worship. Mm-hmm. They quite often are coming from a point of egotism Mm -hmm. and may not have and don't have a comprehensive awareness of knowledge. Yes. And they are confined in their knowledge or awareness to the specific cultural activity Mm -hmm. and they engage in the activity rather than the essence Mm. of uh, development and evolvement. Nothing stays static. Everything moves and changes. Yes. And that is not taken into consideration. Mm. So it is comes from the it is in terms of human involvement it has to come from somebody who has a, 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 a vast awareness and connection with all aspects of how things function the cosmos connection the earth connection yes and the human in between and the f- the various aspects of nature there's there's so much in it it's 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 it's, it's uh, extremely comprehensive would kevin be such a person who would have such knowledge and would he have a role to play in the in this in relation to frequencies being activated at these sites? Um, There's an innate awareness within and it it manifests itself, that awareness, when in the presence of those frequencies and there is an intelligence within the the land itself and there is an interaction. What would be his role um, or his purpose in relation to these sites? to acknowledge the vastness and the interdimensional connection and essence of natural, human and cosmic advancement. Yes. um does he, this knowledge that he has, um, it, does he need to bring that knowledge to the, the surface to, so that um, it can enlighten other people? That n- knowledge, all knowledge is ever present. But it is it is uh, hidden for as a means of protection, given the the ego egoic behavior of humans, and given certain set of circumstances, he will be given he he, he will cross the veil and he will be shown what it is what when it's appropriate. Yes, but then will he have a role in um, sharing that information with others? 
the, the information will not be shown unless it uh, unless it is being shared. Oh, that's good. So he has an important role then. And, and are there many other people who have the, that innate knowledge that Kevin has? Say in Ireland, are there other people in Ireland who might also have a similar role to Kevin? There are those that have uh, aspects of that. Of it. Uh, but that is their role. Okay. That is their role. That's what their, that's their function. Mm hmm. Um. D different people. There are different people who have different aspects. Yeah. But don't ha don't necessarily have the full collective of what is. Hmm. Does any one person have the full picture of what is? No, okay. no, simply because it, you're dealing with infinity. Yes. And yes. everything is infinite, and you're yeah. talking, and it's it's dealing with the quantum. Yes. Where there's a, a re, a, where there is an action, there is a reaction, an interaction, and it goes on and on and on. But of all of all that is there. Yeah. Um. The person you refer to has a grasp of the totality, mm. but needs to to be shown how to articulate that, and that will yes. that will occur when it's appropriate. Yes, because he was wondering if his particular awareness might be to do with. The interconnection between the Earth's energies and the cosmic energies, would that be kind of the area that he would have awareness of? They're all one. Yeah. There's, there's Earth is the Earth planet is just an aspect of the cosmos and their interactiveness within the cosmos itself. Yeah. Because of our existence here, we are more focused and aware of uh, the presence of the earth within that. Yeah, of course. Is Kevin's awareness of the functionality of such sites confined to Ireland, or would he have a role in maybe exploring the um, sites in other countries? Um, the, there's various. The, it's all in code. The whole different sites. That exist in different parts of the world mm -hmm. are, are sites where there is encoding or where encoding has taken place. And the sites have uh, been placed there in those areas. Yeah. As a, as a means of interdimensional communication. So effectively, there, there there, uh, there is um, a difference in the in the degree of emphasis in different countries, different locations, mm -hmm. but in essence, they are part of the same. So there, there's not that great of a difference. Yeah. So the the Earth's energy grid. Um, there are certain er areas that so, that are akin to like chakra points on the earth. Are, are Ireland and England say the heart chakra? Would you say that they're the heart chakra of the earth? Well, different cultures have different have developed different approaches, mm. and in this part of the world. A popular one is yes Ireland and the UK. Mm. They are very important. Mm. Um, so is Egypt. So is uh, places within South America as well. Yes. So uh, and it has to be remembered the earth itself has the the geography of the earth in terms of land mass has changed oh, over yes, it has. over time. 
So that will have an impact on the mythology, for want of a better expression. Mm-hmm. Because myths, myths in themselves are a way of telling a story. Mm-hmm. Yes. And when they talk about locations, because of the, the, the continental shifts and so on. So, um, from the grids, the emphasis should be more on the grids rather than on the landmass. Yeah. Because the, uh, the grids are more instructive than focusing on particular landmasses. Masses. Um, the, the different energy nodes. Mm-hmm, yes. But do energy nodes in certain countries um, emit a certain frequency and then energy nodes in another country maybe emit a different frequency? Maybe that might be higher or lower. And you talked about different locations and different mm-hmm. uh, different points of the earth itself mm-hmm. and its interaction with the cosmos yeah. so and the, the sun and the moon so it in truth yes there will be yes um yes and did the ancients understand the interconnection between those nodal points and the sun and the moon. The, the, there are two aspects to ancients. Ancients were the enlightened ones, those that actually came from mm. above, from another, uh, from another civilization, and they have been instructive in terms of. Um, they have, through their awareness and understanding, uh, have focused on the different encodings that have pre- existed on the earth itself prior to their presence. Mm. So they had they they had the understanding and awareness, and then have also introduced that to the local populations mm. or or in. Or have infiltrated through interbreeding, if you like, or through through um, genomic um, what do you call what do you call it? It's 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 um, I can't think of the expression. Now. It's it's the, the um, uh, infusing the human with uh, different genetic programs. DNA, yes. Yeah, genetic programs. <clears throat> I see. Yeah. Um, yes. Um, so with the genetic program, they have uh, transferred their essence. Yes. Um, the, the uh, and these alien beings, were they who the indigenous people refer to as the gods? Yes. Yes. Um anything that's not explainable is seen as a god or as a, mm-hmm. a, 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 a something that's beyond the imagination of the human yes um, just going back to the knowledge that um, Kevin has um, he um, w- will it be kind of new new knowledge like um, that he he will get to understand that has not been generally known about the purpose of those sites and their the connection between the earth and the cosmic energies w- will that be quite new information that he'll come to understand and maybe share with people. Uh, he would show it will be showing light on what exists, and in doing so, it will be seen as new information. 
Yes, and by people understanding or even being informed of this, how will will that be of benefit, like just knowing that information or will there be a requirement to use that information in some way? Uh, knowing and knowledge is power. Mm. And as to what is done with that knowledge and information will determine how good it is. There has to, in dealing with that, there is a need to be selective. Mm -hmm. and need to channel it towards a, an, an audience or, or people or um, beings that have a general awareness already. Mm -hmm. And this new awareness or is another layer of understanding. Yeah, I know. And creates a greater... Mm awareness of the journey of the planet mm. and the, all that exists on it. Could you give Kevin some guidance on how to embark on this role? Like what should he actually do? Does he need to go to the sites to get onto his path or what does he need to do? Will he be guided? Yes, there's a need to to frequent some of these places, and in doing so, he will become aware of what resonates with his particular frequency, mm. and in doing that, he will have the capacity to transcend the the veil. Yes. Now, Kevin. And in doing that, mm -hmm. the, the the guidance, um, he will be shown what needs to be shown. And yeah. Then, um, there will be. Um, he has the opportunity then to do what is necessary. Now, Kevin today visited Rathcrohan sacred site, a ceremonial site, a large one. Um, but he didn't feel much activity there in terms of energy. Um, whereas he had been to Caramore quite recently and felt more there. How does the energy and functionality there in Rathcrohan compare to Caramore? Can you uh, explain a little bit about that? Nothing apparent at the moment. Mm -hmm. This, for some reason, the site in the general area has been subdued. Mm. Um, not. Sh sh The, the it, it wasn't for him at that given time mm. to connect with the region because that's not where his focus should be. Okay, where should his focus be? Um, sites that exist in Sligo. Mm, okay. And uh, the southern part of the country. Mm. Uh, yeah, okay. What other sites in Sligo uh, could he go uh, to? The, the, it doesn't have to be any specific site. Mm. Each in their own right will bring a certain awareness. Mm. It's, it's a bit like a... a piece of a jigsaw yeah. each will each will connect into his own mm -hmm. um, grid because he has been he, he has a grid sure. and that grid is is each time he visits certain sites yeah. an aspect of that grid is being uh, fulfilled or, or creates a connection 
Yeah. And as each connection is filled, it cre- it then builds the capacity to transmit and receive what is necessary. I see. Now, does he need to revisit any of the sites he's already visited in Sligo or should he go to different ones? Uh, both. So he could go back to some of them? Yes, because the, while visiting certain sites at a given time, mm. that creates a trigger. And in creating the trigger, it will also create, create a certain awareness. And that awareness, when that awareness is there and returning with a different perspective, other aspects will be shown. Oh, I see. Very good. Yeah. Thank you. Um, Kevin was also wondering um, if... Uh, he wants to ask a little bit about Grange Stone Circle in Limerick. Um, is that a place that um, I think actually he was told that is a place he needs to visit? Is that correct? Correct. Um, he wonders is there a portal for interstellar transportation in that stone circle in Grange? Because there's a stone at a place there that looks a bit different to the others. He was wondering if that might be a portal. There might be a portal there. Yeah. Um, yeah, there is. Um, it's, it's a peculiar. It, it is a portal and it's not a portal. Mm. It is a portal for to those or to someone that has the key mm. to utilise right. it. What's necessary. Mm. To um, to cross over, while and also, it also emits a, a certain frequency or column, mm-hmm. which enters the which enters the ether. Yeah. And it it in itself is a um, it kind of tra- it, it transports frequency energy messaging. Yeah. Uh, but at the moment, it's closed. Mm-hmm. And it will take quite a bit to open it. Will Kevin help to open it by visiting it? Um, visiting will be important. Mm-hmm. Uh, but more has to be understood before that will happen. Does it have to be understood by Kevin or by Uh, by more people? By more. And it's interfered with because ceremonies, people that perform certain ceremonies Mm -hmm. in in modern day times are not the correct ceremonies. Mm -hmm. And it it warps the frequency and it has to self-regulate, oh, right. and that that in itself has created a barrier. Oh, I see. So, not until that barrier has been released mm. can it be utilised. 